All right, hey guys, welcome to another market review session. And straight away, we'll be looking at um, some of the currency indexes first. Then we'll be looking at some currency pairs to get out to work on analysis form. All right, so first off, we'll be looking at the US dollar index. And currently, my overall bias for the US dollar would be for it to still be bullish. All right, um, we've had a break. All right, currently, we've had a break of this eye here, this previous eye here. We've not had a proper break yet of this eye here. All right. This, let me mark it out so we'll be able to see. All right, so we've not actually had that break yet happen, or it is looking very likely for us to have that break, all right, because when we've had a break on right, of this previous trend line here, all right, and we've seen that even this zone that we marked out previously, all right, as a supply zone has been tested multiple times and it is now looking very, very weak. So I think overall, I'm watching out for also have that break of this zone and then to continue bullish, all right, so um, during the course of this week, right, so my overall bias on DXY would be bullish for the meantime yes would still be bullish for the meantime next up let's look at bxy or which is the great british pound currency index um we've had a break of this previous low as you can see on the daily time frame we've had a break of low number one and the break of another low right here all right and this zone currently is the point of interest which i will be looking at for us to have possible reactions towards the upside all right from um if you feel this all right this is actually an other block um that i marked out here but i'm sure if you feel this we should be able to see some synergy between that and our interest in fib levels yes so you can see that that's basically right on just the head all right so of that so probably you can just increase it here for um the sake of using that whole zone all right but for the meantime i think I'll, I'll just keep it as it was before and i'll be expecting overall for gb so sorry for the british pound all right to still be weak during the course of this week all right so we should just see that bearish continuation on bxy all right so depending when we do get into this zone definitely we should be able to get some reactions all right but um just as an addition i want us to be watchful for us well, probably just a short um, sell at first then it buy back into this previous support which will now become a resistance and then we'll have that sell into that place all right so before the meantime i just want to see us have an overall um, bias of a bearish continuation on bxy all right so next up let's look at ax services the australian dollar index again um this is on the daily yes yes this is on the daily um i think all right we are still going to continue bearish, or it still looks like we are quite bearish on AXY. However, I want us to um, watch out for, okay, let me go, let me go down to the forward time frame because I think I marked this out. Yes, so on AXY, I just want to see us have that little bit of strength, all right, into this zone, and then we'll get to see our sell off. All right, there's, um, there's a little bit of liquidity to be tapped out or to be taken out, all right, from this place, from this previous eyes here. All right, so probably we'll just get to see liquidity being taken, price coming to this other block, and then we get to get or we get our drop out from there. All right, we do get price breaking above this zone, then it's very likely that we would have turned bullish in that manner. All right, so I hope that is clear for um, AXY. All right, so next up, we'll be looking at um, CXY, or it's the Canadian dollar index. All right, and currently on the C on CXY, we've seen that we've actually had some fair bit of reaction towards the downside on CXY. It's looking like we're going to continue bearish, all right, on CXY. And I'd love to see that happen. All right, we didn't have a proper break. Let me go up to the um one hour for you to the daily time frame rather. We didn't really have a proper break of this um previous low for me all right we've got to see that previous low still somehow acting as a good enough support to still push price back up all right and i want to just watch out for possible reactions that will continue from here however my overall bias for cxy would still be for it to be bearish all right during the course of the week i think i'll just be watching it to be watching rather for it to be bearish all right it could probably just be bearish up to um this point this is looking quite favorable but it's looking like it's looking quite nice looking quite attractive to me so something along this line all right so um and of course if we do get to break above or if we, get, if we get to break below this previous support here then yes we'll just continue on that bearish move we'll just continue on that bearish move so that being said again my current bias for cxy would be bearish
all right so for gpy basket on the daily we are currently expecting that price will still keep falling to so still keep continuing its um bearish momentum all right um as you can see we've had a similitude of a break below this low all right and i still want to see us continue towards that end all right so so i want to just waste time on this my overall bias on gpy basket would still be bearish all right so quickly let's go into um some currency pairs together let's look at euro usd first euro usd first all right wonderful so for euro usd all right we can see that we're in a descending channel let me go down to the four hour time frame all right so on four hour time frame we've seen that all right there's this huge fbg that has been left behind here all right and there are this weeks here that will very much likely act as um liquidity all right so we may probably see price want to cop up all right into this area all right sweep out liquidity from this fbg come into this for our other block and then get to continue or see our drop from there all right so that is very very oh right, sorry so that looks very very likely or me all right um however if we do get to see price breaking up all this zone here all right then it's very likely that we might get to see price come up again into this let me just do this all right come up again into this um trend line um resistance and then we'll get to see that job from there however i do not really see that as something likely all right so my overall bias on your years they will be bearish all right but i feel like during the earlier days of this week probably monday and tuesday and maybe wednesday all right we just have price coming up into that zone all right and then we get to see our sell off happening from there all right so all that's clear for you your usd next up let's look at gbp usd so just the same issue basically the same issue that what we saw happen on um the euro usd all right but for gbp usd i want to quickly see this already right, break of this low and a break of this low we've had another break of this previous low yeah all right and it still looks like we are still going down it looks like we're still going down on gbp usd so i think overall my balance for gbp usd will still be bearish also um however again as, as i said for euro usd you might just see price coming up a bit all right to get into the zone before we do get to see that fall all right but for gbp usd i just want to be watchful all right we might not even necessarily have price coming all the way up into that point all right there is still this previous support all right yeah, let me go back to the daily time frame please all right so this is the support i'm talking about so there's still this previous support we might just have instead of us having price coming all the way up into this zone we just have price all right um being contented with reacting off of this uh, um support which would have not done to resistance all right better see a, and that would have been a break and retest all right so we gotta see that we test of either this resistance or this zone all right so something towards this end and then we get to see that drop so we should look out for this resistance it's around 1.22 sorry 1.23057 and um the zone is between 1.24284 and 1.23698 I just want to watch out for reactions, possible reactions in those zones during the course of the week. So I hope that is clear. Next up, let's look at AUD USD. All right, so it's similar to the gain of what we saw on AUD, oh sorry, on GP USD and Euro USD. All right, um, let me go down to the four hour time frame. Yes. All right, so we might just see again see price coming up into this soon before we do get our drop. All right, so um I want to be watchful. All right, on AUD USD. Sorry, give me a minute to delete some of these. All right, so I want to be watchful. All right, we've had this previous trend, then which was good enough. All right, but has been broken slightly. Then we are getting to see a similitude of a um, rejection towards the opposite direction. Um, if we do not get price coming back into the zone, it is very likely that we might just have a straight up sell off on AUD USD. Um, something towards this end. All right, instead of having that buy into that zone, and I'm saying that because currently we see locally we've been having this sort of range, all right, on AD USD for quite a while now, for quite a while now. So I just want to watch out for what would happen now. Before even when price, sorry, let me just add this. Even when we do get to see price come into this zone, yeah, I'm still going to be watchful before I probably pick up um a sell trade on this. All right, there is the fact that this previous idea yeah, have acted would act as liquidity or uh, possible potential locations for liquidity to be swept from and then we might have to actually see price break above all right this zone and then come back into this previous zone which is um between 0 
66178 and 0.65497. All right, so I just want to watch out for what that would happen as. All right, I think for probably Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday again, I think I might be watching for EDUSD to be slightly bullish. All right, to be slightly bullish. Um, yes, so let's see what would happen with that. Um, but overall, I'm still overall, overall, I think overall ADUSD is still bearish all right for the most part it's still bearish all right but it should just be looking for a comfortable place to get that continuation for its bearish reaction from so let me just write everything i just said all right for adusd again once more so you see that we have that short sell to buy into the zone before we have our continuation for a sell or um likely we might just have price breaking out of this zone all right so in case we do get price breaking out of this zone then please watch out for this higher zone here for the next um point to look out for for that bearish continuation so i hope that is clear all right and the third thing i said was just in case all right we do not get to see price fulfill its um um course and come into this um point here or this zone here exactly there's a first bit for us to just have price straight away breaking below this um low this previous support here this previous support is um so let me get the um, coordinates for that um daily please all right so this is 0 0.63656 so if i do get to see that break immediately below the support then i might just wait to see a retest and then i'll enter for my sell continuation on aud usd so i hope that is clear next up let's look at gbp jpy gbp jpy all right so for gbp jpy we have something interesting also on gbp jpy we've had the fact that we're seeing price currently looking locally to be bearish all right even though overall we're looking at gbp usd on the higher time frame that's probably on the week on the daily for example we're seeing it's being bullish all right so um just locally we are seeing that price still looks to be dropping at the moment all right and i think i would love to see whatever reactions we get either from this support which is around 180.45 or from this zone, all right, which is around 179.960 and 179.095. All right, this is the zone I marked out using an FVG. All right, and I just want to watch out for what price we probably do when it gets into one of those areas. All right, overall, I think we should be able to get a sell to buy as an overall bias on GBP, JPY. Okay, I just think currently what price is doing is to drop, all right, to get a proper point for it to react from before we get to see that continuation or um, that bullish move rather to continue all right and it's very likely that we might have this support that i mentioned earlier that is 180.425 acting as a point for liquidity to be swept from so actually that is a very very idealistic way to look at things we might have this acting as a um liquidity sweep all right price might just call me a sweep liquidity rather from there get into the zone and then move towards the upside so i hope that is clear for gbp jpy my overall balance is for us to have a sell to buy on gbp jpy all right so let's clear next up we'll do usd card usd card all right so for usd card um i want to sorry let me yeah all right so currently for usd card we've seen that we've actually come to a support all right we've seen we've come to a support that we rejected from that support and the demand zone all right altogether I think I deleted some, yeah. All right, so we've seen that happen all together. And currently, we've seen this trend line, all right, rejection happen three times. This trend line support has paved way about three times. This is one, this is two, this is three. So the three times where this trend line was actually met, he got rejected or price got rejected all those three times. So currently, I want to see what price would um, do. I think since um, we're expecting um, the USD, that's the USD a lot to be, um, to gain some strength during the course of this week, I think we can be watching out for a bullish move to happen on usd card all right um all the same i'm going to just be quite watchful all right so it's one of the things or one of many things i'm just say too all right so i want to see that we get the break and test of this previous support which will now become a pivot all right i want to see us get a break and test probably of this support this is around um 1.34920. All right, or we do get price probably coming as low as this trend that again for a fourth touch. All right, and um, whatever the case might be, my overall balance on USD card for this week would still be bullish. All right, as long as we do not get to break below this trend line anyway. Um, as soon as I get to see a breakout test of this trend line, then my bias would probably change 
bearish all right and that will be more um, confirmed by us breaking below this zone this previous zone all right but so as not to miss any of those trades all right i think currently i'll just be watching out for price to break below this support here all right this was a previous support that has now turned to sort of resistance around here all right so i just want to watch out for price already break it get the retail so you have that trend line of the horizontal support and then we get to see price push towards the upside so i would like also for usd card all right so finally for today we're just going to be looking at um gold 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 all right give me a minute yes all right so for gold um basically it's similar to what we saw on um ad usd and um, GPUSD and here USD, we might be expecting to see that bullish move, just a short bullish move anyway, happen on gold. All right, and I'm I'm being idealistic by saying this because if you go up to the daily time frame, all right, it looks like we are in a pennant sort of formation. Um, all right, I hope you can see that here. Yeah. All right, and um, on the four hours, all right, in four hour time frame, I want to see currently price probably just drop a little to um gather some strength, all right, and then we get to see price push up towards the upside. We get to see a break of this trend line. All right, you get to see a break of this trend line. I get to see a break of um, this previous um, resistance here. All right, and then we get to see that bullish move up and right into this. Um, ideally, I would want to see also get a buy to sell in the sense that once we get price coming comfortably into this, all right, then we get to see this sell move happening. All right, um, Corroborating that with the fact that on the daily time frame, all right, it looks like we are looking bearish on the daily time frame. All right, so I just want to be watchful for whatever we get to see, or I want to be watchful for I want to be watchful for reactions that we get to see from either this zone or somewhere along this trend line again. So it's either we get to see price come into this zone before we get to see our bearish move happening, or altogether we may just get that bearish move continuing straight away from here. So I hope that is clear. Let me delete this. All right, yeah, let me just leave that there like this. So I hope that it's clear for gold also. All right, so um, finally, uh, I think I said finally for gold before, don't mind me. All right, so finally, let's look at USD JPY. I think I was supposed to look at that earlier, but let's keep my mind up. All right, so for USD JPY, we've, we are still looking at this guy to continue bullish. All right, which call way to we're expecting for um, US, the fact that we're expecting the dollar to keep getting stronger, all right, to keep moving towards the upside. All right, so for, I think this is when I marked up already on the two hour time frame. Um, sorry, please give me a minute. All right, yeah, I think this is something I marked out on the two hours time frame. Or was it the four hours? Then give me a minute to confirm where exactly. All right, yes, so this was on the four hour time frame. This is a very, very, very small, minute looking order block that I'm watching to keep pulling price all right towards itself. Um, and yeah, just for that, um, just that being said, all right, even corroborating the fact they're expecting a stronger dollar and a weaker Japanese yen, all right, um, relatively speaking, we should be seeing a buy up, you know. USD GPY just going based on that information. All right. So for the meantime, I think I'll just be watching out for that buy continuation to happen on USD GPY at least until we get to see price come into this zone, which is around 152.048 and 150.781. All right. So depending when we get to see price get into that zone, we might get to see a bearish reaction from there. But for the meantime, all right. So for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and probably till the end of this week. We might as well keep seeing USD JPY continue bullish. We might as well see USD JPY continue bullish. All right, so thank you very much for joining us for tonight's market review. I'm sure you've been able to gain some form of value. All right, and again, before you take any of these trades, I want you to make sure you have confirmed it using your own entry criteria. All right, so thank you very much for watching today's video. Thank you very much for joining us. Have a very, very profitable week. All right, bye guys.